Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Conquests of Camelot. All right, we've just bribed those guys, fallen down the uh, hill a few times. Let's go see if we can find this other gate. Whee! Ooh, ow! Ooh! Huh. I'm kind of surprised that, that doesn't kill you. I'm actually really surprised that that does not kill you. This is, uh, quite an interesting... Ooh. This must be the Jaffa Gate. There's a glimpse of the local bazaar inside, with an open gutter that runs down the center of the street. Aye, the woman is herding away her sheep. What an utterly stupid... what utterly stupid animals they are. What utterly stupid animals they are. Oh, don't be mean about the sheep that way, Merlin. He is dirty, has a disreputable look, and his clothes are old, threadbare, and smell of goats. Well, let's go ahead and save the game again. Hey, you. You must pay me a fee to enter the Jaffa Gate, whatever you can afford. But you must pay. Pay coin. Here, have a gold coin. By my beard, Arthur, I believe he was a fraud! Are we gonna go back to the, pl the same place? I bet we are. Oh, no, we don't! <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Draw sword. Arthur likes not the flash of your steel. That has set the fraud to his heels, but you had best put up that sword for now. There may be more guards like those at the Zion Gate. Well, let's see what's this way. Don't fall down, uh, donkey. Ah, I wonder where this goes. Oh. Arthur, halt! At great cost to myself, I send this vision of warning. You must not turn away from your mission now. Months of weary labor and travel have brought you here. There's nothing this way but the desert whose hardship you have already suffered. Turn back to Jerusalem, King Arthur, and sink your destiny within! No. Whoops. Well, I'm glad we started there. And to think that men once hailed you as king and praised your ability. Now that you have trudged far from the city walls, what what have you to show, show for it? Nothing. You are lost in the bluster, blistering desert without water once again. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. So it puts you right back here. That's actually kind of funny. Alright, um, I do want to check to see if I'm, I, I should actually do that to, uh, um, uh, Yasser. Yeah, okay. Hey, you! Um, no. <laughs> Can I go this way? A thicket of bushes blocks the path to the north. Oh. So this is the Bazaar of Jerusalem. Tiny shops line both sides of the street. And such smells. Delicious foods combined with the raw sewage in the gutter. Watch where you step. Arthur, that little thief has grabbed your purse! Um, aren't you gonna... 
Stop, a most formidable looking man, but with an honest face, I would with an honest face, I would say he was previously a soldier who has gone into business selling what he knows best. Windows downstairs are closed. One of the windows upstairs is open. Wait, what? Oh, one of the windows upstairs is closed. In Latin, the sign reads Arma, meaning weaponry or armor. Muhammad is the name of the merchant. The Islamic symbols above his name are the crescent moon and the scimitar. The rest is in Arabic. Most formidable looking man, but with an honest face. I would say... Oh, yeah, okay. So, uh... I really was uh, completely robbed? If you had a purse, you would be able to acquire money to give away. <sighs> that bastard. Where is he? Is that him? Is that him there? He's only a young boy, a half-starved, ragged urchin who is surely alone in this world. What a pathetic sight! It appears she partakes liberally of her own food. He has rather a taste for bright colors, I note. He has quite a lot of it. There's a basket of crisp golden brown falafels, fresh from the oil on the woman's table. It is a heavy metal cauldron filled with bubbling hot oil. Hmm. I think I have to do something else before I can, uh... Have another death. Thought I would wait and see how you fared, warrior. I take it things do not go well. I am sorry to see it. If I were not about to leave on a journey, I would make... I would take you in as my guest. It does not seem to me that you have much use for your mule now. A fine mule she is, too. Just the kind of mule I could use on a long journey. Oh. Ask about mule. She has a fine mule. I can see she has good bloodlines. I know I've been calling her donkey, but... Close enough for government work. Um... I sell weapons of all kinds. Swords, daggers, bows, maces, axes, spears, and many other weapons. But I regret, regret I have locked up as I must depart very soon to join a caravan. Alright. Yeah, just have my mule. You would give me this excellent mule? Habibi, you are either a... I must hurry now to meet my caravan. May Allah guide you. Ah, you're welcome. I'm glad I could help. I'm supposed to be able to die around here somewhere. Hmm. Oh. You cannot go this way. There is a thief loose in the bazaar, and many merchants are complaining. The Jaffa Gate will be locked while we search for him. We do not know who he is, but when we find him, he is a dead man. Now move along, before we begin to suspect that you may be the thief. Oh, dear. Maybe I have to do something else before I can be uh, thought of as a thief. It's a very nice looking area, though. Oh, apparently I can't go that way. Just put something more obvious in, in, in the way there, game. Really. Bye, birdie.
Why wouldn't I want to carry away a fish? Maybe I need to know about the, uh, um... Thieves first? They plague the city. They plague in the city guards seldom catch them. For this I pay taxes? Apparently so. Hmm. I want to bump into the guard there. I like that the guard continued along on this screen. Alright, doesn't look like I can annoy them. Come on, game. Kill me already. Well, I think there's another way that I can die here. It is dark and empty. Oh, hey, here we go. We have orders to find a thief, and we have never seen you before. He must be the one. Kill him! Ow! Oh! You die in poverty, mistaken for a common thief. In your next life, listen more carefully to Muhammad's hints. He is not short of coin. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Ha-ha! There you go. Have my blade! I want to look at the lady. Ah! Arthur, that little thief has grabbed your purse! Well... Uh, before we talk to Muhammad, let's uh, walk around and talk to the other uh, gar uh, shop owners. Actually, let's uh, go ahead and save the game real fast. There's a merchant selling pottery, a fishmonger, and a grain merchant. It is a granary. It is a fishmonger's shop. It is a pottery shop, though the... Though he undoubtedly deals in more than mere ceramics. The pottery he has on display outside his shop is really quite plain. More for function than pleasure, I would say. I cannot say what fish they are, but they smell bad enough. The huge clay jars are filled with grain. Aye, there are birds pecking at dropped grain. Nothing unusual about that. Looks like a sleek, well-fed cat with a taste for fish. He is bent from a lifetime of toil at sea and burdened with an injury. He is the fattest merchant I have ever seen. Be not misled by my sign, Habib. True, I deal in earthenware, bowls and plates and jugs and vases for everyday use. But I have richer wares which are not safe to display on the street. I have silver plates, bowls, goblets, plain or worked with design. Shined to gleaming perfect, glimmering perfection. I sell mirrors at w as well. Even gold plates and goblets I can make to order. If your wealth is great enough, plain or patterned or encrusted with jewels. Ask about, uh, mirror? Certainly, I have a nice mirror for only two dirhams. What is a dirham? How much is that worth? I have little to say about that. Alright. Actually, let's, uh, ask him about the thief. A curse upon all thieves! 
Yeah, I kind of agree with you unless I'm playing as one. <laughs> Kitty! Pet. Cat. The cat in typical cat, in typical cat faction, fashion ignores you. That bastard kitty. The hell was that? Salam alaikum. I missed that. That was peace be unto you. Ask about name. I'm sorry, Abibi, but I cannot help you. Ask about fish. Fish for sale. St. Peter's fish and carp. Ew, carp. Is useful enough, and I always have scraps you can eat. Oh, that's nice. I hate thieves. They prey upon me because of my injured leg. Fly away, birdies. Fly away. They didn't fl fly very far. Come on, man. Come on, buddy. Next to the grain merchant's shop, there is an inn. Capona is the Latin for inn or tavern. If I interpret the symbol below correctly, this is a Star of Allah inn. The door is shut to state the obvious. The shutters are closed. Nothing can be seen through these windows. Alright, that guy doesn't want to... Come back. Odd that the inn should be locked. Hey, old man. The street of David ends here against the sacred the sacred wall. The beggar sits coaxing what warmth he can from the, the brazier filled with burning charcoal. The beggar is a pathetic sight for his limbs are rotting with the disease of leprosy. Aw oh, man, that's terrible. Is this something here? No. Uh I meant name, not namer. Namer. What answer can you expect from a leprous beggar? Well, I could expect your name. No thief dares uh, dares rob from a leper. Okay, um... Salam alaikum, peace be unto you. Alright, so not much going on with you, at least that we can see right now. It is a heavy wooden door framed by beautiful glazed tiles. The crescent and star are both symbols associated with the goddess. It is of colored glass through which you can see nothing. Yeah, of course, the star usually associated with the specific goddess uh, who would be most prominent in this area would be an 8-pointed star, not a 5-pointed star. Ah, oh, game. Getting things wrong. There's some sort of antiques shop in a butcher's shop. Alas, I've let my Greek fade with disuse and cannot translate. Oh, come on. It loosely translates as Ismail, King of Antiquities. The rest is Arabic and Hebrew graffiti. You should recognize the countenance of the greatest of Roman generals, Julius Caesar. Would you buy a used chariot from this man? It is pitch black inside. It is dark and empty. That is quite a large goat. Tabulae lanius is a term meaning butcher, though, it, though more literally, from the Latin, it is butcher's block. I cannot read the Hebrew graffiti above the door. He is an extraordinarily mean-looking Nubian. Oh, of course the Nubian would be mean-looking. Give me your name. Do not worry about that, Habib. My relics, though they are something to talk about. Uh, relics? 
gladly I will sell you re relic, but first you must tell me, what is the name of the saint whose relic you wish to buy? I, I don't know. No, no, I must have the name of the saint whose relic you wish to buy. Nothing else will do. Think it over. If you are still interested in buying a relic, just say so. Uh, let's ask about the thief. Thief? <laughs> that is a harsh word. I'm an honest merchant. That I can assure you. Uh-huh. Dog looks like it is well fed from the butcher's scraps. Stop bothering me. Stop bothering me. Oh. I want to bother you. It's fun. It is dark inside. You can see nothing. I know that there's something you can eventually see in here that, that'll get you killed. I'll have to keep coming back. Lucerne means lamps. As for the Greek underneath, I cannot translate it. My Greek is too long out of use. How is your Greek too long out of use? You got the Byzantine Empire still existing. A ceramic made of the Yoni, made in the Yoni style. When filled with oil, a flame will burn, and the lamp spout. Yoni style? I don't know what that means. The the only Yoni I know is uh, the uh, Indian word for Greek, uh, coming from Ionian. I suppose some of these jars contain various scented oils for the lamps, though some of the vases seem to be purely decorative. They're finely made, perhaps designed to hold ground herbs or spices or perfumed oils. There's a bundle of sweetly pungent herbs hanging in the doorway. The old woman's basket is filled with the small green apples common to this area. Ooh, green apples, yum. I detect an unusual look of wisdom in this old woman's eyes. He appears to be a typical prosperous Arab merchant. Where are all these green things on the ground? Can I? Nope. Ask about name. Of what interest is that? Alright, fine. Greet merchant? Talk to merchant? Salam alaikum, good sir. You look like a man of taste. Notice the fine craftsmanship of my lamps. My oil lamps are of the purest quality. If lamps are not to your taste, I carry good, long-burning charcoal for your brazier. Are, these, are not these herbs sublimely fragrant? They sweeten the air and lend freshness to even the foulest room. For sweetness of the body, I have scented oils that will moisten the skin and inflame passions. Oh my! My vases and bottles are made by the finest artisans. Feast your eyes upon the delicate colors. If you desire to buy, I am ready to serve you. Uh, let's ask about the thief. I would do much to get my hands on the thief who keeps stealing all my rope. I had rope, but it was all stolen by a miserable little thief who pr preys upon this bazaar. Duh. Looks like an ordinary well-made broom. Arthur, I know your purpose here. It is given to me to know the, such things, for I am a seeress. Another came from your land, and his name was Galahad. He spoke of you, for if he failed, he knew only you might follow and succeed. But as a servant of the goddess, I must know you are worthy. I bid you to buy an apple, for this fruit is sacred to Aphrodite. Uh, I'll have to come back and do that later. I have no money right now. Clearly, I need to get some money. Let's talk to the urchin. No good trying to talk to him. He never says a word. Not tooth left in his head anyway. He has been 
been there for days, begging for crumbs. Ah, it is a cruel world when no one will help one another. Uh, like you? Fresh hot falafels for a hungry man. Made from the finest ground chickpeas and ground sesame seed flavored with parsley, onion, and garlic. Mmm, garlic. Observe, if you will, the quality of my fabrics. You'll find none finer even if you journey to Constantinople, and indeed, some have come from twice as far. See the exquisite colors, the glowing patterns, the perfect weave of these silks from the Orient. And these magnificent linens that will keep you cool when the sun scorches the earth, and by its virtue of absorbing moisture will keep you dry. Then perhaps you will come from a cold you come from a colder clime, as indeed your armor would hint. See my beautiful dyed woolens and feel the perfection of their natural oils. Eh, maybe later. But for now, we'll go ahead and call this an episode, and in the next one we will uh se probably sell our mule. Get some actual cash. See you next time, everyone.